what an incredible story. Uh, this is the American dream epitomized. You started this thing right out of high school? Yeah, I did. I started right out of high school. I graduated in uh, June of 1982, and I uh, uh, opened my first store in January 1983, so I guess that's seven months out of high school. So it was going to be Chicago hot dogs, and I couldn't fund the fryers and the... Uh, and the hoods and the and the uh, fire extinguishers and the milkshake machines, so I could fund an oven and a meat slicer and a refrigerator. So I was by default, I ended up making sandwiches. So yeah, that was it. Now, did you you moved into a former closed something or other, wasn't it? Or you didn't build that from the ground up, did you? That first unit? No, no. I, I try not to build them from the ground up now, even. But uh, it was a home. Uh, and a garage, and the home was converted into a Dixie Cream Donut shop, and the uh, and the and the garage was a failed pizza joint, and that's where that's where that all started at uh, at Eastern Illinois. So in a garage of a, a two car garage of a, of a of an old house. Well, the first time Frank Carp stumbled into your place was so uh, while you were there that their first location in Eastern Illinois. Yeah. And and we're at how many now? I think 670 or something like that. And how many more sold that I haven't even opened yet? Oh, I think about well over 1,100. 1,100 additional units. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. When you first started, I remember, I remember talking to you quite a while before you made the decision to franchise. And initially, you were a little reluctant to franchise. What got you over the line, and how has uh, the franchising thing played out for you in, in, in keeping with your own goals? Actually, my first franchisees were, were not successful. What's, what kept it going in the early stages was I always had Francorp to call uh, to ask what to do. And then once the business really did start working, you know, the, the, uh, the, the other interesting thing was I really thought people would be as self-motivated as I was to do what it is that we do every day. You really have to align yourself with those people that want to be aligned with you. The people that want to be aligned with a hardworking, aggressive, Tell it like it is, no baloney organization do very well at Jimmy John's. People that want to play charades or they want to or, or they think that they, they buy the franchise and move to the beach, this isn't the franchise for them. Um, and I think that all of that comes right back to fully disclosing the numbers at the beginning. These are the numbers, here's how to get there, this is what we do, and you gotta do it. And um, and the entire package was really a Fran Corp. A package that we just followed and frankly I think I think you know uh, you guys put us on third base and we hit a triple. A long time before I came to Jimmy John's Francor really helped set up the system and they set up the franchise and at this point we don't use Francor to help us set up the franchise it's already in motion but what really has helped over the last three or four years is that all of our people all of our new sales people, all of our franchise consultants go to Francor and learn the basic system so when they come to us they're all ready to go into our system and that's pretty exciting. We've grown this company over the last uh, three years from 200 units, we're today at 639 units. Uh, mm -hmm. We wouldn't have done it without using those systems, utilizing you guys and, and your wonderful company Francor uh, to help us move forward even today. Now, you and your team have actually attended Frank Corp's Franchise Management Training Course, and you regularly, routinely send your new salespeople to franchise sales training. Can you talk a little bit about when you send these rookies out to these courses, do they have any backgrounds in franchising typically? No, absolutely not, and that's where we use Frank Corp the most. All my new salespeople go there each and every time. They typically come in to Jimmy John's for about four weeks, they learn our process and then we go to you guys so that it supports what we're doing and so it's like it's, it, we're doubling down on our investment. That's that is the greatest tool right now that I'm using at Francor is doubling down my investment, sending my sales employees, my new sales employees to those training sessions. They're fantastic. We've uh, been working with Francor since 1994. Um, that's when we first had our franchise program put together and basically they did everything for us uh, helped us with the registration helped us with our operations manuals training manuals uh, today we have over 395 units and we continue to use Francor uh, we went back to them recently they helped us with the marketing program uh, and just now I've completed the management program that they put together and I think they're terrific. 
What about the ongoing uh, relationship with Francorp? Well, it's uh, it, we we use Francorp as a resource now because um, we're, we're we're like we're like graduate students now. So we use Francorp as a resource. All of our new salespeople go there. Um, I know my marketing people use it uh, uh, here and there. And then and then uh, we also talk as peers. And you ask me what's new, and you tell me what's new. So I think we operate at different levels. But uh, we're kind of like the MBA students coming back for a refresher course every year or two. We come in for a, for a quickie refresher course, and that's what we use Francorp because you guys. Are are cutting edge on what's happening and we're in the trenches making sandwiches all the time and sometimes we miss what's happening because we do what we do so we go refresh once in a while and uh, and that's how we use Francorp but you know we have a mature relationship now it's it's almost a, a almost a 20-year relationship I and mean, that's a long relationship well we're really proud of what you've accomplished and it's an honor and a privilege to, to have the opportunity to contribute in some small way to your success oh, well, thanks. thank you appreciate that very much it's a pleasure and uh, for all you've done for us and, and our family and our company and been a supporter uh, we uh, we take a lot of pride in, in, in having done business with you guys and that's not that's not baloney it's serious uh, from the bottom of my heart I appreciate everything <laughs>